I'm Lincoln Ware here with uh, Tracy Artist, and I'm still trying to figure out, are you a gospel promoter, or what are you, Tracy? I promote and market gospel artists. My firm, I Hear Music, represents gospel artists, and I do help to promote them in various ways in Lincoln, like getting their music played on the radio, mm -hmm. helping them with touring, helping them with booking. So that's the promotion side. And I do promote two events here in the city each year. I really don't consider myself a promoter. Gospel music, it has changed over the past 30, 40 years. It has transformed into something some people may not even be able to recognize as gospel music. It has changed a lot, but there's still some commonalities, like great songs. So let's say 40 years ago, you had songs from the Hawkins. James P, people like that. And so then in the late 90s, you start hearing more contemporary music from artists like Kirk Franklin, Hezekiah Walker, Marvin Sapp, and you start to see the trend Lincoln as the music changed that mainstream embraced the music. Maybe because it sounded more urban. Yeah, right, because you, you, there's some gospel songs they play on the urban station. You know, Kirk Franklin, uh, uh, Marvin Sapp, and how do you think the diehard gospel people feel about that? You go back to the Five Blind Boys and the Williams Brothers and people like that. Rance Allen, he seems to have transformed with it. You know, he's come along. He was back in the 60s, but he's still present, present now. So how have they embraced this change? You got these rappers out there doing rap gospel music. Well, you always have subgenres in gospel. Um, and so I think people have embraced it because you have different groups of people, different demographics with different ages. So you may enjoy Rand Sally, mm -hmm. but my daughter who's 16, she may enjoy Travis Green. Mm -hmm. She may enjoy Kirk Franklin. And so the subgenres, in my opinion, help collectively, but it gives us all an inroad to embrace the music. Mm -hmm. Because some of us like rap. You take somebody like Edwin Hawkins, mm -hmm. uh, you know, back in the 70s, Edwin Hawkins, late 60s. And, I mean, if, if, I think he's dead now, right? No, Edwin's Edwin he, still alive. He's still alive, yeah, okay. I was talking recently at the Stella Awards. He still lives in the Bay Area and made millions on Old oh Happy Day. Right, and, and that song will fit in right today. Right today. You know, people you can play that now and you wouldn't miss a beat. Absolutely. People have come through, you know, um, decades mm -hmm. and they're still around. And a lot of the artists have been able to move with the times of the year. Because Kirk Franklin started out with Why We Sing, you know, and that Tom Joyner helped to toss that song over to the urban mm -hmm. side. Donnie McCurkin had a stand, Marvin Sack had never really made it. But what the artists, in my opinion, have been doing to keep the music so alive is that they're moving with the time. Oh yeah, every time I read the bio of an artist, they all started in church. I used to sing in church and mm -hmm. then moved into the secular music. Right. You know, it's right. Al, people like Al Green and there's all those cats. They all started Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. and you know, you take them all. And they've got some church background. Some church background for sure. You got a good choir, you got me. Right, right. right. <laughs> Well, Tracy Art, it's been great talking to you. We appreciate it. Uh, you keep doing what you're doing. We got the uh, Black Family Reunion coming up. August 18th through the 20th. And uh, you, have you opened up Spill the Beans on who's going to be here yet? Or you want to do it right here? Oh, I can do it right let's, here. Let's hear it. Who's going to be here for the Black Family Reunion? For the Black Family Reunion on the urban stage, we're going to have Midnight Stars, Cincinnati's own. All right. Phenomenal group, the People's Choice. We polled people over the last two years in the park asking for people they wanted to see. And so we're going to have Midnight Star, and we're also going to have Cincinnati's own second week. I have not announced the gospel stage yet, but I will soon. Okay, all right, Tracy Artis, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you.